One of my favourite Roald Dahl books is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory because I love food and there is a lot of it in that story. So the thing that I wanted to look at is the idea of the edible wallpaper because I think that's amazing. So you go into a room, you've got pictures of fruits and you lick the fruit and it tastes just like that fruit. So I was trying to think about how easy that would be to do because there's some lovely research been done into how our sense of flavour and taste even can be affected by other senses, so by visual cues and also by smells or by uh, sounds, all these things can really affect an experience of a meal and that's why there's so many celebrity chefs who are doing brilliant things with those different senses. So. I have got a couple of experiments with me today that I'm going to try on some volunteers that we're going to get uh, from our lovely Science Meets Simple team. Uh, I have got two glasses here. One of them has got some blue food colouring in it, one of them doesn't have blue food colouring in it. So I'm going to ask people what flavour they think this one is and, uh, and then let them see this version and see if they think it tastes any different or if they're able to actually work out what flavour it is in this case. So I've got that and I've also brought some sweeties. So we've got fruit pastels here. And in theory, if you close your eyes and you don't look at the colour of the sweet, it might be trickier for people to actually work out which sweet they've got, what flavour they've got of the sweet. So we're going to try that out with some people as well. So I can't wait to get started. So I'm going to get our lovely Wendy, that the lovely Leanne is going to try for me and I'm going to get the lovely James to have a taste of them and to tell us what flavour he thinks each of these drinks are. Mango. It's got a bitter aftertaste, but it's quite fruity. It's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> Is it watermelon? Okay, let's try this one. Mm. It's more citrus, like lovely lemon. Lemon? Lemon. Lemon. So there's definitely a difference between the two drinks? Yeah. <gasps> there is not. <gasps> no. Look at this. This is the drink that I've given you. It what? is... Ooh, white grape and peach. And they were both that flavour. Both they the were. same. Uh, so not so mango-y, but, but peach. Fruity. Fruity. Lovely. So I've got some sweeties now and my wonderful volunteers are going to try a sweet. They're going to tell me what kind of flavour they think it is and then guess which colour sweet it is from that flavour. So that's what we're going to try now. They are not allowed to look at the colour and we'll see if that confuses them. Okay, so Wendy is up first. So what I'd like you to do is close your eyes and hold out your hand. And I shall pass you a sweet. This is the first sweet. Try it my eyes now. Yes, you can open your eyes now. <laughs> Green lime, I think. Green lime, okay. We're not going to reveal who's right yet. Okay, so next, Leanne, close your eyes, please. <laughs> Yellow, lemon. Okay, and last but not least, we're going to have James. So close your eyes. <laughs> okay, go for it. changes <laughs> but it seems quite citrus I'm gonna go orange okay so uh, let's just confirm you went for 
Green lime. Green lime, you went for? Yellow lemon. And you went for? Orange, orange. How many were right? None of them. <laughs> None of them were right. So there we go. We've discovered that it is actually quite hard to tell which sweet you're eating if you can't see the colour. So I think you guys should test this out on some of your friends and see what happens with them. <laughs> For more Roald Dahl inspired science videos, like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Science Made Simple UK. It's a good one. I'm thinking red strawberry. Blackcurrant. Yeah. Oh. <laughs>